Okay, so we are live. Hello, everyone. I am here with my lovely dear friend, Christina, and we are talking about how to get over the toughest humps in your business. So Christina and I are both Amazon sellers, and that is a big part of our sales channels. And recently I read a statistic that five out of 100, every 100 new sellers on Amazon, supposedly there's 3000 new sellers starting every day on Amazon. But five out of every 100 is the statistic that is going around that of the 5% fail. And some of the toughest problems that people are reporting having is running out of money like they'll source inventory at just not enough margin to make new purchases. And they're also um, not able to scale in time. And forgive my voice tonight, everyone. I have the, uh, I got the flu on the cruise. And so I'm feeling just fine, but um, my voice is a little bit froggy. So I'm gonna let Christina tell us a little bit about um, this first poll that I'm about to publish, um, which talks about the toughest problems you've had to overcome in your business and running out of money or not having enough help. And Christina, can you tell us um, what should people do to prepare so that they don't run out of money when they have a product-based business? First of all, hi, everybody. I hope um, you all have a, a great time this holiday season and uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you and thank you for being live uh today with you with beautiful emmys thank you for inviting me and we all know that uh amazon business um can change someone's life and can give you the financial freedom for you and for your family but unfortunately it's well known that it's almost 90 percent of new sellers they fail on amazon and uh there are many obstacles that stand on the way when you're starting an amazon business so um the first question uh, Amy asked about uh, the uh, financial planning. That is one of the major things that uh uh, people have a uh, trouble financially planning their Amazon business. Uh, I would suggest to using and um, considering the simple rule uh, they used to say, uh, while financially planning uh, your resources while starting a private label or just going into them, online retail, uh, there is one rule uh, that says that you have to have on hand uh, 2.5 times your initial inventory investment. So let's say uh, your in initial uh, product that you buy, so the first batch that comes in, it costs uh, $4,000. So with all the extra expenses, PPC and uh, many softwares you're going to be using, and uh, you have to have at least $10,000. So that's the rule, uh, 2.5 uh, 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 times uh, your initial inventory cost that I, I use myself and I suggest other people um, taking it into consideration why financial planning, how much money they're gonna be investing into. So Christina, uh, when you say that 2.5 times, is that to prepare for buying new inventory? Is that to prepare for the cost of advertising, um, what, what do you see people using that 2.5 times that inventory buy for? So this is at least, um, you have to understand that launching the new product, there will be a certain amount of money and depending on the niche, depending on your competitors, this is the amount of money you want to spend renting your product, doing uh, the, um, uh, ranking, um, trying to invest into the ranking, uh, then it's uh, the softwares you're using to track your competitors, uh, to see uh, the keywords and uh, other things that uh, all new sellers uh, will be using while um, trying to understand where they are right now or uh, to see um, the sales and how to uh, get the data uh, of uh, the product um, on the market. And also, of course, since uh, the product will be already uh, profitable uh, by the time, let's say, two, three months, if we're talking about the first run of um, uh, the new product uh, in private label uh, strategy, 
uh, then of course the part of that uh, initial investment, the one that I uh, said ten thousand dollars, that would be going uh, to help to buy and to reinvest because we know that. Uh, your main idea while launching uh, the product, your first product, you need to understand that you have to focus on increasing profitability. And you need to understand uh, how to increase the sales rank, how to increase the profit, and be secure uh, that you have the backup money. Because many people, they just run out of money, they can't buy stock, they got out of stock and that's bad for your product and um, there are many, many things can happen in that. So um, I try to suggest, uh, so the people who, especially doing the first, first product of their own, uh, like let's say in private label, they have at least two times of uh, the um, whenever they bought the uh, for, first first uh, production, so the first batch. So if they have two thousand dollars to spend, you don't want to spend all two thousand dollars on your yes. inventory because I think a lot of people, whether you're selling on Amazon or whether you're to have a store, they assume that they're going to be able to put that money right back in their pocket, and it takes time to establish your brand. It takes advertising. You want to establish a web footprint. You really want to take the time to cover and you're going to have operating expenses. No yes. matter what business you're in, you're going to have to buy. You're going to have to buy some type of research software. You're going to have to pay for advertising. So I think that that's a really good rule is to make sure that you have at least 2.5 times the amount of your initial investment available to grow your business and grow your brand. That's really good. Can we talk, yeah. Christina, about hiring help? So in the beginning, you are doing everything in your business, right? You yeah. are the person listing the products and advertising the products and doing everything along the way. When is it time to make your first hire? How did you do this in your business? And, um, and how should people navigate that? So there are many uh, different scenarios, uh, how many different sellers run their businesses. Um, if you're doing 100% uh, fulfilled by Amazon FBA, then you're kind of uh, free because uh, you have the inventory that goes directly to the fulfillment center. And of course, uh, in terms of the extra help you might need, uh, that would be someone probably taking care of your finance and tracking of the finance and someone who is taking care of uh, your um liabilities like uh, in that uh, we're talking about the trademarks the uh patent if you have any and uh, getting into the bread that, that's uh, helping you make secure selling on amazon with the brand registry so these are the two things that should be considered and always taken into consideration because that's an extra amount of money that you can't just do all yourself because you need people real professionals who've been who knows who know what they're doing and they will give you the professional advice but it shouldn't be the full time it should be just a reserve amount of money in case you will run out of uh, in case you run into the problem there will be some legal advice or financial advice that you might uh, uh, take care of. Uh, also, uh, if you are doing the merchant uh, fulfillment yourself, or when you're diversifying and uh, selling uh, your products on Shopify, or selling your products through Facebook, or somewhere else, of course, you will need some labor just to help you, because you cannot be thinking of the product, inventing products, uh, doing the ideas, doing the research, and at the same time, sitting and packing. That, that doesn't work that way. So, of course, uh, this is... Um, something that people might uh, get help with, but there are always some students or someone that can help and uh, do stuff for you. And that's always not, not that expensive and everybody could afford that. Uh, I and love I that you, I love that you mentioned that, you know, you really need to think about I, the professionals that you have to hire in the beginning because yeah. it's not as simple as, you know, yeah, we all need help prepping products and stuff like that, but it's really important to um, hire the right legal representation to make yeah. sure that if something goes wrong, you have the right professional to call upon, right? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially nowadays where there are so many hijackers and uh, where there are many things uh, with connected with the trademarks, the patent, even though we have the um, IP Accelerator, the new program that gets you know, the brand register faster than everybody else. It's the service offered by uh, Amazon. Still, there are always... Uh, uh, there always should be the amount of money and uh, the, 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 the direct and clear understanding in your mind that if you need help, sometimes it's in 90% better to go with this problem to the specialist who know what, know what they're doing and you can just pay and it will be solved. But because of trying to solve it yourself or doing this, you can even harm your business. So this is like... As I said, legal and financial help, there's always should be the reserve for that. And that's someone that along the way you will definitely need once or twice or like this time. And um, right now, we all, there are many new things always coming into Amazon business, many new uh, softwares, everything, and diversifying business, uh, bringing more traffic into your listing, uh, getting your search engine optimization, everything uh, connected with that. Um, we, I, I suggest uh, Amazon sellers to look into getting the help uh, with uh, their um, traffic and the conversion uh, to driving traffic to Amazon through Google Ads and Samsung, any, any other um, platforms that you can advertise your product. That is also uh, the work that I would suggest uh, hiring a people to do that. And uh, that is more, that's way better because uh, the people who've been doing advertising, driving traffic, and they know what they're doing, they, they're not that concentrated on the sales and their business. They just come to your business, see it from the site, what could be improved, what could be done, and that would help you. That I suggest everybody um, uh, to pay attention if they want a professional to step in and help them or with uh, uh, their, um, uh, let's say, Google advertising or something like that. That's uh, right now with the competition and with we just went through the fourth quarter only the professionals can handle that it's not something you can learn by, by trying in the hot season or something so that's also the help that could be considered and that could be hired yeah i think it's really important to hire the right professionals at the yeah. right time and not you know and really take that into consideration when you're planning for your business and yeah. so at the inspire conference we're, we aren't only going to be focusing on Amazon sellers, although that is really, you know, a lot of the folks that are going to be coming. We will also have other local small businesses there. And the reason that I invited Christina to come and speak is because, Christina, you started your business as a very small business. You had ideas for products for women and you put them out there and you started. And in the beginning, you started small, but you hired the right professionals and yeah. you had a plan and now you are full-time in your business and you have grown what was your um what is your what is your goal your biggest goal for 2020 and what was your biggest goal for 2019 that you're proud to have achieved so um uh, i always when people ask me how you're doing in business finances and that i always like to say there is a simple and funny rule like it's always hard to make your first one thousand dollars then it's hard to make ten thousand dollars then it's hard to make hundred thousand dollars and after that when you make one million it's like yeah it's easier so um don't afraid uh to dream big uh put uh, the goals that you want to achieve and make a plan and stick to that plan. If you stick to that plan, you're determined to be successful, nothing can stand in your way. Um, in 2019, I had to run a couple of new products and one of them uh, was very successful just uh, during, I think um, it was either Black Friday or something no, that was right after the Black Friday. It was uh, Christmas time. We had one single product uh, in around 800 units a day. Uh, were sold. Wow, 800 Yeah, and this is brand new. And this is and this is brand new product that I'm very proud of. Uh, 
And at the same time, I launched another product that I was, my hopes were big. I was thinking that, yeah, I'm going to make it, I'm going to crash it. And uh, unfortunately, it didn't work the way it is. So, um, and I tried, I, I, I tried everything. I, I did lots of research and in my niche, I know what's selling, what, what's not selling, and I know my competitors, but that was slightly different product and I wanted to try myself, but the niche is that competitive that um, I, I barely making it. So um, yeah, as we see the success and the fail, they, they go hand by hand and uh, you cannot uh, predict when it's going to happen, but uh, I still working on them. And um, I always uh, like to say if the mistakes happen, uh, they happen uh, for a reason. Uh, they're going to give you knowledge, they're going to give you wisdom, and you won't do it again. So uh, don't be afraid to launch crazy products. Um, of course, try to um, analyze everything as much as you can get as much data statistics as you can be financially prepared but uh, uh, having the idea that you're going to be successful and you will enjoy what you're doing and that is going to change your life and will give you the freedom the freedom the financial freedom and the uh, freedom of your dreams so I really suggest all the beginning, uh, in, all the entrepreneurs in the, in, in the beginning to uh, think big, uh, don't be afraid, stay focused and uh, be determined. Uh, that's it. Uh, and um, for 2020 myself, uh, my main goal is to go into retail uh, because uh, I've been launching and I've been creating products and it's, it's, I want to diversify as much as I can because before that it was only all online Shopify, um, European marketplaces, Amazon.com and Amazon CA. But right now I think I'm ready. I'm, uh, I have my goals set, my financial goals set. So I want to be next level uh, with having both retail and brick and mortar store businesses. Well, that is an amazing goal. I have the same goal for 2020. So I'm excited <laughs> that we get to work on that together. And, um, and you'll get to meet some awesome experts at that at the Inspire yes, 2020 yes, conference. Yes, ex exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, for people, we have, that's one of the main ideas why I'm so excited to be in the Inspire conference because it's not, it's it's very unique conference. It's not going to be only online circles. There are people from many various spheres and many, they have their own insight and they have their own, uh, own strategies like, uh, we can say about Steven Salikov that was that is successful in uh, brick and mortar stores. People can learn so much from him and get so many insights. Just come in, okay, look at this. What can you suggest? The amount of the knowledge and the uh, ideas you can get from people in that sphere, that is, you cannot put a price tag on that. So that's why it's very important. And I, I, I'm pretty sure that to inspire, the coming inspire uh, conference will not only inspire, but it will bring all businesses on the next upper level. Definitely. Well, I am so excited I've had you on tonight. I, I love some of the nuggets that you gave about like, hey, your first goal should be to make your first thousand dollars and then 10,000. And then, you know, that's really so great to just be financially prepared in your business, hire the right professionals, set small goals and then reach them, small achievable goals. Everything that you talked about is obviously things that you've walked through in your business. And we're so excited to hear how you built your amazing business. And we're excited to help you reach your next goals as well. And everybody, thanks so much for tuning in today. And Christina, thank you so much for being with us. Thank and you. And we will see you all at Inspire. And I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Yes, um, really. Uh, that's an amazing time uh, of the year to sit, analyze what was good, what was bad in 2019, get a clear understanding of what you want uh, in 2020. And um, be joyful, just enjoy this time with the family, with the friends, uh, going out, uh, take your families to dinners. And uh, yeah, I wish everybody uh, have an amazing holiday time. Enjoy it and uh, get
get ready for 2020 and get ready for the amazing Inspire conference. All right. We'll see you all at Inspire. Bye. See you all. Bye-bye. Are we still here? <laughs>